Now to our latest coronavirus numbers, still high following the holidays. The state reported 18,942 cases in the last 24 hours and 350 new hospitalizations, both of those numbers above our 21-day average. Well, Ohio's COVID-19 numbers have set new records almost daily for over a week now. And Marissa Sines breaks down those numbers and just how heavy a load this has been for doctors and nurses. What new COVID-19 numbers will look like each morning feels like Russian roulette. And for Hannah Duncan, a registered nurse with the Cleveland Clinic, it's been two years of that. It's stressful. I mean, every single day you come to work and you're not quite sure what you're going to see. How do you deal with this when you go home? Are you able to disconnect? There's days definitely that I have just gone into my office and cried and went home and just on the whole way home had the radio off and just didn't talk. Since Christmas, COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations continue to climb. Just in the last eight days, we said, let's just look at what's being reported. Staggering amounts of numbers for both cases and hospitalizations. Now, let's look specifically at December 29th. Over 20,000 cases and nearly 600 hospitalizations. That's all within a 24-hour period. Since then, there are rising numbers even up until today. We expect massive numbers, and we're seeing that, right? Sitting down with pediatric infectious disease doctor at University Hospitals, Amy Edwards, she says we have the Omicron variant to thank for that. Such huge chunks of the population will either be vaccinated or infected. Which, Edwards says, does have a silver lining. We just expect Omicron to infect so many people um, that it will move us forward in that switch from pandemic to what we call endemic. An endemic is what Edwards describes as diseases we live with on a day-to-day -day basis, like the flu. But the flip side of that is yes, because it is so contagious, so many people are getting sick simultaneously that it is hard for clinics and hospitals to keep up. What nurses, doctors, and first responders like Duncan are dealing with firsthand. Yeah, people say you signed up for this, but we didn't. A lot of this is preventable. Marissa Signs, 3 News.